we bought this F-Body Firebird roller for a thousand bucks. And since then, it's been our project drag car. Now, we ain't made of money around here. So we do everything ourselves. That way we can spend the cash on the parts that matter. I'm Josh. And I like whiskey. And I like going fast. And you're watching High Noon Racing on YouTube. What's up guys? Welcome back to the garage. On today's episode, we're going to be installing the manual brake master cylinder on the car, running all the lines, cramping them, flaring them, doing all the good stuff. Now the master cylinder I chose was actually in a kit from Motion Raceworks. And it was fairly well priced, so that's the reason why I chose it. But first, we need to take these wheel cribs right behind me. We need to take these and get them under the car. That way I got some room to work under there. So I'm gonna be laying in the dirt. I need to at least have some space. Might also help us out when we get around to putting the transmission in. But that, that's for another time. All right guys, it's time to get to work. And remember, if I don't answer your question that you came to this video for, I'm a chill dude. Just drop a comment below. Even if it's not related to this video, I'll help you out. I was walking all my stuff back here to the gate, thinking to myself, when did I get a duck lawn ornament? And why does this one look so real? Oh, well that's because it is real. Huh? You can enjoy the shade. Come on back now. You can enjoy the shade. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is find out our pedal ratio and then we're going to figure out where we're going to drill a hole in our pedal to get pedal ratio we want. So to start, you need to find the pivot point where the top of the pedal pivots and it just so happens to pivot on that bolt right there. So I'll take my measurement from the center of the pivot point all the way to the center of the pedal. So if you can see. I'm going to put my tape in the center of that bolt and then put the tape in the center of the pedal. And it's kind of hard to tell from the camera angle, but it's right at one foot, which is 12 inches. So we're going to remember that 12 inches. Now we need to take our second measurement, which is where the plunger normally is, to the center of the pivot point. And that little guy right there was where it was at. We'll go ahead and take our measurement and go from the center to the center. It's right at three and a half inches. We take our first measurement, 12 inches divided by 3.5, and it'll give us 3.4 something. <sighs> Basically, 3.42 to 1 was our original pedal ratio when the car had a brake booster installed. Now, for our application, we've already said we want a 6 to 1 to 7 to 1 pedal ratio. Now, me personally, I'm going to go closer to the 7 to 1 ratio. That way, when we upgrade our brakes to race brakes, like TVM brakes, we won't have to drill another hole and restart this whole process over again. So that's what the original pedal ratio was with a brake booster. Now, we want a 6 to 1 to 7 to 1 ratio for this application. I'm going to go probably 7 to 1 because I do you intend to eventually upgrade the brakes to race brakes and that's what they want on race brakes is a seven to one for like tbm brakes and stuff so in order to achieve that we're just going to take 12 and divide it by two and that gets us six so that would be six to one so now we need to get seven to one so if we did if we wanted six to one we would go from the center of that bolt come down two inches make a mark drill our hole through the pedal and that's where we would mount our plunger to get a six to one. So in order to achieve a pedal ratio closer to seven to one, I'm gonna measure down an inch and three quarters of an inch, 1.75. Drill our hole and mount our plunger. 
This will actually net us a 6.85 to 1 ratio. Instead of a 7 to 1, instead of a 6 to 1, it's on the higher end of the scale. Now I'm fine with this not being a whole 7 to 1 pedal ratio. 6.85 to 1 will be plenty for us. Not only do I have a heavy foot, but in the absolute worst case scenario, if it's still not enough, we could just swap out the master cylinder for a master cylinder that has a larger bore diameter to achieve the pressures that we might be trying to achieve. Now, if you came to this video and you were dead set on needing a seven to one ratio, and you have the same example as me where your first measurement is 12 inches, what you would do is you would take 12 divided by seven, because that's your pedal ratio you're shooting for, and it'll give you a measurement. That measurement just so happens to come out to 1.71, which is actually 40 thousandths of an inch less than the 1.75 that we're going with. So let that sink in real quick. 40 thousandths of an inch less on the distance. That's pretty minuscule, but that would net you a seven to one over the 6.85 to one that we're gonna go with. So as you can see, we're going with 6.85. <laughs> so we took our measurement, made our mark. Now we're gonna drill it. All right. We'll make sure it can fit through these. Just clearance on both sides. Might have to do some trimming or bending, but we'll show you that if we do. So our pedal will totally hit right there. We can't have that. We need to have way more clearance than that. So what we could do, we got clearance on the other side. Not a whole lot, but definitely enough. What we can do is just notch it out right there. Grind a little or bend a little, you know, use your imagination. do something that's apparently really important and that's priming it and I guess they call it wet priming it. The reason why is because when we go to shove the plunger in there we're accidentally gonna depress the system. So the way you do this is you just kind of put fluid in there and you start pumping it. And, uh, just use a screwdriver to pump it, the plunger, until fluid comes out. So and then we'll just catch it in a little bucket and yeah simple enough. All right, so we got to take our plate, stick it on here, and draw a line with Sharpie so that way we know where to trim. And the reason why we got to trim is because if you remember, we moved our pedal push rod up. Got a few runaway marks there, no big deal. Sand them down, touch them up later. You may not even see them really, but that's where the hole goes. That's where the hole went. Make sure you ain't got no wires back there when y'all are grinding. I did, but I moved them just in time. Take our plate, go ahead and set it on there. We'll get ready to bolt it all up. Okay, a little bit of drilling. Top holes I had to open up all the way through. Oh, hey, <laughs> what's up guys? Those two top holes, no joke, you gotta drill them out. Like they're nice, they're threaded, but I had to drill them out. And the reason why is because the original mounting plate on the backside, they were like, the bottom ones were great, the top ones were off. And I think it's because I put the bottom bolts in first and I snugged them up. Didn't tighten them like crazy, but I snugged them up and somehow that bracket, it, it's jank. And anyways, best tool hands down <laughs> to achieve, that to finish this job nice and easy for y'all is just get a step bit, a cobalt step bit, go on the back side on the inside of the car, open up the holes in the bracket on your brake pedal, open them up decent, not huge, but decent. Got to have enough, a small enough hole to where the washer will still cover it. But um, yeah, it'll make your life 10 times easier. And then, uh, you know, go ahead and open up the holes on your uh, brand new TVM uh, plate too, from Motion Raceworks. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, but you know what? It, it went on. It went on good. So I'm just trying to save y'all as much time as possible because this happened to me and it was, you can fight it. You can do all of this unnecessary stuff to make it work or you could just do these little things and it'll work fine. So just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> God dang. Imagine being a 12 years age scotch and some hillbilly gonna just swig you down like that. It was good. <laughs> and that one to the collection, baby. Ciao! All right, guys, so I'm not a fan of making part one, part two, part three videos. It's going to take you, I don't know, two hours to figure out the information that you came to the, my video for. That's not who I am. That's not what I want to do. So this weekend, I need to apologize. We are going to have to do a part two, but there's a good reason. And that'll come with some additional content that, you know, if you love your boy, you're going to like to see either way, because this is how I do my videos. Like we ain't. We ain't scamping on quality around here. I like to have, you know, I love my boy Cletus and I love watching those slapstick videos like that. But I also think that a lot of these channels are lacking content that is like in depth, that like really just kind of like, I don't know how to explain it other than I'm making what I would want to see. When I make a video, I, I watch it, I edit, I watch it, I edit. And I'm like, would I enjoy watching that? That's how I edit for you. So guys, make sure to subscribe. This is probably going to end the video off here but i promise you there will be a part two now if i just uploaded this video just understand one thing there's probably part two ain't gonna come out for a week and the reason why is because we're going to south carolina my boy uh, is getting married so it's gonna be interesting to edit a travel vlog something that used to make me throw up style video but you know i ain't gonna try to leave y'all hanging you know what i'm saying so hang in there part two will be coming soon but before part two you're gonna get to watch the show shenanigans of this travel vlog that uh, I've never done but I've never done a travel vlog so I hope I do good <laughs> wish me luck and uh you guys make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications if you love my content I plan to keep the core of this content like this like in depth you know <sighs> how do I word this I don't know how to word it. I, I guess just keeping it 100, like just being honest about everything and like doing great videos and you know. <laughs> There's all these colors. I think I got it two years ago and it could do all sorts of colors. And <laughs> all right, I'm gonna shut up now. Y'all have a good one. <laughs>